I'm Ren Wadsworth, and this is your weather forecast on CTV Channel 11. Kicking it off with the weather earlier today, the weather was overcast and chilly. Many students on campus found the temperature earlier today to be comfortable, and some students could even be seen still wearing shorts. As you can see, the leaves have begun changing around campus from a CSU green to CSU gold, or maybe yellow. The weather hasn't been cold enough for the beautiful flowers around campus to begin dwindling off. However, the cool temperatures didn't last long, and the temperatures began rising again as the day went on. Currently it's 66 degrees, and for the past couple hours, the temperature has stagnated in the high 60s. Going into your evening, you can expect very little wind and no chance of rain as that sun sets at just about 630. Moving on to tonight's lows, looking at the I-25 corridor, it's going to start at about 40 degrees. If we move on to tomorrow, it's going to hit about 75 degrees, which is just one degree lower than our high today. If we look at this side, it's going to be partly cloudy and that Sunset's going to hit just about 630 once again. Moving on to tomorrow's highs, it's going to hit about the same. Temperatures aren't going to rise a lot. It's going to be in the low 80s, high 70s. Moving down the I-25 corridor, it's going to be 75 degrees once again in Fort Collins, 78 degrees in Denver, 79 degrees in Colorado Springs. As you move down the I-25 corridor, you're going up in the temperatures, and then it's going to hit that high 85 in Pueblo tomorrow. You can see that reflected in the plain side of the state as well with those temperatures. If we move on to the five-day forecast, Wednesday, it's going to be 75 degrees once again, just a little bit hotter than it was today, but it is going to be a little bit cloudier than it was today. Moving on to Thursday, I already talked about it with Kenny and Jake earlier in the show, but you're in for a surprise because it's going to drop 41 degrees to 32 and there is going to be a chance of snow. So look out Rams. Moving on to the week, the temperatures are going to rise steadily 48 degrees on Friday, but it is sunny, so it's going to feel a lot warmer than it actually is. 61 degrees on Saturday, a little bit cloudy, and then moving farther into that weekend, it's going to be 65 degrees and very, very cloudy. It looks like fall has finally taken up residence in Fort Collins, but you'll have to tune in next week to see if it's going to stay. That's all I have for you today, Rams, but stay tuned because Sydney Wicker and Ethan Bird are going to tackle sports after the break.